Don't chase marks. Let the marks chase you. You want to understand. You want to learn. And if you want all those tips and tricks to get your full marks in physics, chemistry and maths, then this channel is just for you. So subscribe, like, share and comment as you watch this video till the end. Let's now get to the business of earning marks. Avogadro's Law In chemistry of senior school, we have Boyle's Law, which connects volume of a gas with pressure. Charles Law connects volume of a gas with temperature. And Avogadro's Law connects the volumes of a gas with the number of molecules. So, what is Avogadro's Law? The statement goes like this. Under the same conditions of temperature and pressure, equal volumes of all gases contain the same number of molecules. Now, why do we always start with the phrase where we have the same condition of temperature and pressure? Why do we talk about temperature and pressure always when we talk about the gas laws? The reason is that even if the temperature is changed slightly, volume of the gas will also change. And if the pressure also is changed, then the volume changes. And so we have to make sure that the temperature and pressure are kept constant or they should be the same condition for all gases. Now, equal volumes of all gases. Which gases? All gases. So, equal volumes of all gases, they will contain the same number of molecules. Let us understand this with an example. So, let us say that we have two containers and in the first container, gas chlorine and let us say I have 5 million molecules of chlorine. Now, I have another container here. This is having nitrogen dioxide and this container also has the same volume as this. And so, if the volumes are equal, remember what the law says, equal volumes. So, if I take equal volumes of chlorine and equal volume of nitrogen dioxide, then this nitrogen dioxide also will have the same number of molecules, which means this will also have 5 million molecules. Did we get that? So, as long as the two containers have the gases at the same temperature and pressure, because that is what our law says. What does our law say? That under the same condition of temperature and pressure, we will have equal volumes of all gases. So, we took just two gases and we took the same volumes. So, according to the law, each one of them will have the same number of molecules. So, if there are 5 million molecules of chlorine, then 5 million molecules of nitrogen dioxide as well will be with the same volume. Now, let us take a look at another example. Again, we are taking chlorine and we are taking one volume. And here, for nitrogen dioxide, I am taking two volumes. Can you see this size, this size, let us say, is the same. Now, chlorine has, let us say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Each dot, let us say, is representing 1 million. So, there are 5 million here, the molecules of chlorine. And nitrogen dioxide, equal volumes will have the same number of molecules. See there, equal volumes of all gases, they will have same number of molecules as long as the temperature and pressure for both of these is the same. And so, if this volume and this volume is the same, this much of nitrogen dioxide also will be 5 million. And this, which is also the same volume as this, this also will have 5 million. So, you will see total there are 10 million molecules of nitrogen dioxide. 
So if I were to put another box over here, that another box would have again another 5 and then we will have again plus 5 million. So did we understand equal volumes will have the same number of molecules. Now let us understand what kind of questions can be asked on this because every time when we look at a law, we have to first understand the law, understand the concept well and then we have to go at applying the law. So now let us see how we apply the law. But first thing you have to know is that know your law by heart. There is no compromise in that. So understand it, repeat it many times, look at it again and again and know your law by heart. Let us see now how do we use this to answer the questions based on this. In a question like this where you are given different gases and their volumes and you are told that this nitrogen has X number of molecules and they are asking you to find number of molecules in H2, number of molecules in oxygen, number of molecules in chlorine. The one important tip over here is to look at the volumes and find the number corresponding to one volume. Now you have been given number of gases here all of them are at STP. What does STP mean? Standard temperature pressure, which means the condition of temperature and pressure is the same for each one of them. And so if two liters is X molecules, one liter will be X upon two. Agreed? Now, if one liter is X upon two, five liters will be X upon two and that will be multiplied by 5. So that becomes 5x upon 2. Got that? Now this one you are going to do on your own and let's see how fast you can get it. Pause this video. Did you get this? It is 0.1 multiplied by x upon 2 and that becomes x upon 20 or you can write it as 0.05x. Got that? All right. Give yourself a star if you got that. So I hope you collected your first star. Now, another question that can be asked on some data like this, which gas has the maximum number of molecules? So which one will be the one with maximum number of molecules? It will be oxygen. And let us see which gas has the least number of molecules. The least number of molecules here will be chlorine because this is the least number from all of these. Did we understand this part? Now let us see when we have to do just the opposite. In this case, you will see the gases are given, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, chlorine, and we have been given number of molecules instead of volume. So number of molecules is given, and we have to find the volume at STP. Now here again, Understand that the second important tip is when molecules are given, find the volume corresponding to N molecules. So if 4 N molecules are having volume of V liters, then N will be V upon 4 liters. Got that? Okay. Now, if N is V upon 4 liters, then N upon 50 will be V upon 4 multiplied by, can you see compared to this N, this is 150th. So here also it will be multiplied by 1 upon 50. So what will we get here? We will get here V upon 200 liters. Let us come to this one. Now this one you are going to do on your own. I am giving you time. 
pause the video. Check your answer. If n is v upon 4, 3n will be 3 times v upon 4. And we have 3v upon 4. These many liters. Did you get that right? Give yourself a star. Now let us see a little more variation of this. If the volume of nitrogen at STP is 5.6 dm cube, find the value of chlorine. Now, what is the volume of nitrogen at STP? The volume of nitrogen is V upon 4 liters and that is 5.6 dm cube. And so they are asking what would be the volume of chlorine. For this we use the unitary method. We will say that V upon 4 liters is 5.6 dm cube at STP. And so 3V upon 4 liters will correspond to how much? And then we will say volume is going to be, let me just write it over here, required volume is equal to numbers across will multiply. So I'll write 56 upon 10 multiplied by 3V upon 4 these two and divide by this so that will be 4 upon V. Can you see the cancellation and what would we get this as? 3 into 56 so 3 6 is 18, 3 5 15 and 1 16 and divided by 10 so 16.8 dm cube at STP. Did we understand this so far? That's all that is there in Avogadro's law. Did you understand Avogadro's law? How many stars did you get? Comment and let me know. Thanks for watching. For more information on the concepts of maths, physics and chemistry, subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell. So you will be updated whenever I upload a new video and enjoy learning the easy way.